Yoga is non-harming. Non-harming meaning the opposite of violence. So, compassion, empathy, kindness. Ahimsa is the Sanskrit word for kindness or to not harm. So, in yoga, as in your practice, the very first thought you may have is, I can't do yoga, I can't, I'm not flexible, I can't get into that pose that person's doing, I can't breathe through my nose, I can't, I can't, so on and so forth. So what? If you think that, you will be that. And, therefore, yoga is not harming you in that way, you're harming yourself in that way, you are telling yourself, and it's just giving unconditional. So, I can breathe, I can balance, I can try, I can practice. All of these layers are more of a positive than the, not, the harming of I can't. When you're in a pose and you tell yourself one of these others, you're going to immediately feel the response of your body deciding which one you are believing at that time. So your breath can feel it. If you get close enough to, uh, or deep enough into your practice, you might notice down to the thought, or right before the thought forms, because even at that time, or at that level, it takes a bit of time. So when we're deeply engaged in ahimsa, and the act of non-harming, the act of kindness, we think we are becoming better. Like, because I'm kind, I'm getting, I'm being, a, I'm becoming a better person, or I am a better person. Now, here is the trick. Even at the low, tiny, the tiniest depth of, I'm becoming better, can be and is harming to who you are right now. It's, it's neglecting that the person you are right now because later on you're going to become something. You're not becoming anything. You, in yoga, you're not to become. You are to be here. And that it's a small difference but it makes the biggest shift around you that fear no longer apprehends your curiosity and creativity and courage to go and try and do and be something. Whatever you are, whoever you are, be that now. Love that now. And be kind to who you are now. And watch how that reverberates outward. Watch how, even in your practice, you may even elevate other people's compassion towards themselves because they can feel you practicing. Your practice is for yourself. As equal as it is for everyone else. But the very first restraint in yoga, at least in a philosophy, is be kind to yourself. No harm. No harm anything. Anyone. Be kind to everyone. Everything. And notice those subtle layers. Have fun with it. This takes effort. It is not easy. So it takes a strong will, and I know you are strong. Thanks for watching this today. I hope this helps your practice. Go out there and be kind to someone you've never met before. My light sees your light. Namaste, my friends.